New treatments for COVID-19. Treatments within the community for people at the highest risk of becoming severely unwell. People with the highest risk of becoming severely unwell from COVID-19 may be eligible for treatment. This video explains what the treatments are, who is in the eligible group of people, and how those who are eligible will be able to access the treatments. These early treatments can be offered if in the last five days you have a positive test and have symptoms of COVID-19. You will then be contacted for treatment. People may be eligible if they have cancer, renal or liver disease, Down syndrome, sickle cell disease, people who have had a transplant, HIV, a rare neurological condition, a suppressed immune system. You can find out more information at www.gov.wales forward slash COVID 19 dash treatments. Whilst it is good that we have treatment options for COVID-19, it is important to remember that the vaccines offer the best line of defence to protect yourself from becoming severely unwell and will also help reduce the spread of the virus. To help us understand how these treatments work, we need to know how our body attacks the virus and how the vaccine primes our body for this attack. The coronavirus is a simple structure made up of a fatty capsule with some genetic material inside. The virus also has these protein spikes sticking out. This is where the virus gets its name from, corona, meaning crown-like. It's these spikes that the virus uses to bind onto the cells in the body and invade them. When a virus infects a person, the body's natural response is to produce antibodies. The vaccines prepare and boost our body for this response. These antibodies bind onto the spikes of the virus, stop the virus in its tracks, and prevent it from reproducing. Not everyone is capable of quickly producing enough antibodies when infected with the coronavirus, even if they have been fully vaccinated. And this is why these treatments are important for people who are most vulnerable to becoming unwell with COVID, so that when given early, they can prevent the virus from taking hold. If you have a positive test for COVID-19 and you are part of the treatment eligibility group, you will be contacted by the NHS. A healthcare professional will contact you to find out if you have symptoms, when they started, and check if you meet the eligibility criteria. They may then offer you a treatment. There are two types of treatment. The first is a one-off infusion of a medicine called a neutralizing monoclonal antibody treatment or NMAB for short. The second is an antiviral that comes as a capsule. NMAB treatment means giving antibodies early, temporarily enhancing your immune system before the virus gets a chance to take hold. It's a one-off intravenous infusion that takes half an hour given in a local infusion centre. The second treatment is an antiviral that comes as a capsule. The antiviral works by preventing the virus's ability to reproduce. The coronavirus rapidly multiply once it infects our body. The genetic code the virus carries instructs our own body cells to make massive numbers of copies of the virus, which then causes harm. Early antiviral treatment will prevent the virus from replicating and taking hold. The antiviral is a medicine taken orally over a number of days. It is important to check with the person offering you the treatment that this is suitable to take with other medicines you may already take. And so you should keep your list of medicines up to date. Key points to remember if you have COVID symptoms. Take a lateral flow test. Report the result of the lateral flow at www gov.uk forward slash report dash COVID-19 dash result or phone 119. If your lateral flow test is negative, book a PCR test. PCR tests are more sensitive and will help to confirm whether or not you have COVID-19 and need treatment. If either your reported lateral flow test is positive or PCR test is positive, you should be contacted for treatment by the NHS. If you are not contacted and you think you are eligible, speak to your local treatment centre 
or local specialist team looking after your condition. If you have any questions, please contact the specialist team looking after your condition.